Hearty wishes and greetings to each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am here to give you few details of our congregation at Kanyakulam. Kanyakulam is located at the extreme southern end of India. I am giving you a screenshot of the map, Google map. The nearest international airport is at Trivandrum, which is under the state of Kerala. From Trivandrum International Airport, you can reach in two hours by car, which is around 69.6 precisely uh, the distance between the International Airport to our congregation at Kanyakulam. Kanyakulam is a green field with mountains and with a very pleasant living location. You could see a few pictures I am sharing here. Uh, it's a very green field, you know, it, it gives a charming, uh, pleasant uh, environment when we walk through. In May 2014, we went here at Kanyakulam for distributing tracts, but where we were opposed by the local residents. You know, they are all non-Christians. They were opposing us that we should not issue the tracts here in, in their location. Uh, but as it is written in uh, Roman 15:21, they to whom he was not spoken of shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. Based on this verse, we decided to focus this particular place, Kanyakulam, for our ministry. Today, in 2021, July, the Google map shows this much of residents filled in, into that location. What we decided uh, to apply a bank loan, we did that. We purchased a small piece of land, started constructing a building, managed to inaugurate the congregation building by April 2016 by God's grace. This was the place where we purchased, you know, the highlighted one. And then this is the constructed building at the time. On the first day of worship, on the Lord's Day, myself, my wife Sophia and my son Bendan Joel and my grandmother were present. We did not know any single person on that day. This is the photo of that particular day that I was speaking on that building. God heard our prayers. We started knocking each and every single door at Kanyakulam and one by one started attending on the Lord's Day. We started conducting Bible studies at their homes. Eventually, they started accepting Christ and got baptized. Till date, till date, we have more or less 40 regular attendants, in which 23 are in the body of Christ. You know, I am sharing you a few photographs of baptism was given. The baptistry was separately built just behind the uh, church building. I am here to give you a few information about our ministry. Uh, the first one I would like to give you about the information about the question and answers ministry. Uh, to educate the attendees in truth and strengthen everyone, we started conducting question and answers sessions to clear all their doubts with scriptural references. On the spot we were giving. This has become very successful. You know, those new people when they started uh, attending the uh, services, attending the Bible studies, they ask many questions. How is the salvation? Do we have to immerse completely or can we not only just sprinkle our head or like other we see on the TV and so many other questions will usually they started asking. Rather we answer simply by uh, our uh, own understanding. We, we used to ask them to open the Bible and we give the reference so that there is no left or right. They will have to accept it and they were doing it. They were accepting. After a few months, based on their request, we started a WhatsApp group for sharing all those answers. But uh, happily to say, several others also uh, started joining the group because the those who received the answers, they started forwarding those answers to many other, their friends. So based on that, they started coming into our group and they got added into that group. Today, in three years, this Q&A Biblical WhatsApp group has grown into 10 groups. You know, each group has got maximum uh, 257 members can be added. Now, each one group is filled, second group is added like that. Now, 10 groups are running so far. As on date, 10th group is around with 150 members. I'm sure this is not going to stop here. It, will, it is going to grow further. Many from various states and countries 
join daily to get their doubts clarified so far 1108 questions are answered uh, you know uh, i would like to take you to the next level what we have done uh, we were asked by all these people to print the first 1000 answers for their permanent references you know this the answer started uh, serving them at various uh, point they want they they started conducting their own bible studies they uh, they started to educate their friends and all so these answers become so useful for them and especially the references are there so many preachers also found uh, these answers are very effective so they asked us to print it in a hard copy based on the available fund with us in the congregation we decided to print 288 copies and it was published why 288 copies because that is one quarter of paper when you purchase based on the size of the book we managed to get 288 copies in one one lot each book contains 1475 pages each page is printed either side and the book weighs 900 grams weight i i took more care extra care that the way the book book should not be heavy uh, i used a very lightweight pages papers and uh, it's a high quality paper so that the print uh, print should be useful to everyone and it should stay long for them uh, 245 copies uh, are issued so far due to limited copies available we stopped issuing further and i will share you a few sample pages uh, the first uh, first one is uh, the uh, the tamil printed tamil question second one is english one mostly 99 percentage of the article is in tamil uh, very few questions are in and uh, in english i will uh, translate for you the first two questions which is in tamil question number 220 they were uh, uh, someone has asked jesus is a foreign god why do we have to accept can you give us reference can you uh, can, can you answer us why do we have to accept that is question number 22 uh, sorry 220 and the 221 says that uh, can christian imprint images and uh, text on their body like you know uh, those uh, the images can be imprint that was an answer i have given and uh, number 106 which is in english you can easily read and uh, identify the questions uh, i have managed to get isbn recognition for our book this is isbn so so that it's globally recognized and identified easily these are the books uh, when it got printed i took few snaps for your information i am sharing it here number 3 uh, topical daily articles uh, on behalf of kanyakulam congregation daily edification articles are written and being posted to everyone daily articles are published both in tamil and in english languages all these articles are sent daily to mobiles and are being posted in our blog kanyakulam coc.wordpress.com you can view it easily uh, under the playlist it is arrayed properly special requests were also received from visually challenged people so we started publishing audio recordings in youtube recently from may 21 onwards you can find all those from our youtube channel Uh, youtube.com slash joel since we a uh, screenshots of daily articles i am sharing you for just for information this is from english uh, which was uh, published on 24 july get the right life insurance you know life insurance usually when people take that guarantees your medical uh, expenses for the body not for the soul or spirit so uh, this is the article based on that take the right insurance that is important rather than you take care of your body uh, the same what is written in tamil i am sharing you the screenshot here then again uh, the fourth uh, important thing which i need to share with you is the bible study we conduct bible study on fridays at our church building uh, this is also being streamed on google meet approximately 30 to 40 outsiders are attending regularly all these classes are available in our youtube channel many others are also regularly watching for for their in depth learning as our building is equipped with overhead projector uh, thus the teaching is more effective we use visual classes for educating them better we don't uh, just keep on preaching and uh, 
giving them audio but we use visual pictures we elaborate them we give them the reasons so that they understand and they grasp it effectively so that they can grow uh, easily you know number 5 i would like to uh, inform you that we conduct bible study at houses uh, we conduct uh, between monday to thursday at various houses in this particular locality many non christians are attending regularly when you when you approach when you go for outreach and ask them to come to the church building they feel awkward they don't come on sundays uh, they feel like uh, uh, a different feeling is there whereas when you conduct bible studies in their location at uh, certain houses it is easy for them to come and uh, sit for the prayer so that when they when they started listening to the scriptures when they started listening to the bible studies then they started coming to the uh, church building for the lord's day and the bible studies as well there we really these bible study uh, studies at houses gives us very effective in soul winning the outreach is so effective in this region with this method and number 6 i would like to share here uh, the preachers training uh, we plan to train four bachelors we don't want to take more inmates at this moment we just wanted to pick very uh, precisely uh, selected four bachelors aged between 25 to 32 years in the, from the congregation uh, for an intensive training to become an effective preacher that would really uh, give us a good going in in the upcoming uh, days the course is planned for 6 months per batch they will be taught and trained to prepare sermon they will be taught and trained to preach effectively they will be trained to effectively carry out the field ministry they will be trained to answer any questions with relevant scriptures that is our, that is our motto a few snaps of our of our congregation i'm sharing this are this is taken in one of the lord's day uh, our uh, elder was giving the sermon and then number 2 this is taken at one of the uh, regular uh, meetings you know it's it's not on the lord's day the normal day meeting and number 3 this is also the same uh, regular day meetings and then uh, kindly remember us in your prayers fervently Uh, we invite you all we invite you all join with us in this raw field the harvest indeed is great but the laborers are few as we read it from matthew chapter 9 and 37 thank you all thank you very much thanks a lot for listening to my introduction uh, grace to you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ amen thank you very much